Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, we're going to continue construction of our GPU. Now in the last video, we built the Phil Y and Phil X system, and in this video, we're going to build, we're going to start building the screen. The screen, well not the screen, excuse me, I should say the, the GPU controller. It's the big thing in the back which does all the magic of figuring out which pixel should be drawn on the screen. So, first off, this thing is a little bit complicated, but essentially it works in two simple ways. For each wire, it affects two commands, the draw command and the erase command. And we're going to set that up. So, first off, I have gone out four from this, and I'm going to go up two on each of these. I and mean, I'm just going to stack it in the end. And I'm going to go out one, two, three, four. And the reason I'm going up here is because we will need to build the draw command that actually has the wire on it. We're going to build that underneath this wire. And this is just to give us enough space to do that since flat maps have, you know, the free down limit. And now, okay, so that's what we did. Now we're putting a repeater here. And now what we're going to do is essentially, first off, I'm going to put something here because it just makes me feel better. I really don't think that serves any purpose other than it does make me feel better. But I'm going to set it up so it does the draw and erase commands. Now this one right here is going to go to the draw command. And since I have a repeater here, it's also going to send power through the lock. So I can go out one, two, three, four more. Add a repeater. And this one is going to go to the erase command. So this is a basic setup. And I'm just going to do like this, stack it, I think I need seven, so, whoa, so expand one, and stack it, there we go, there we go, so now we've got this, the basic system set up, this torch is going to send power to the draw command, and this torch is going to send power to the erase command, so, now, let us set up the system for where this can actually start drawing something. So, first off, we need to determine whether or not we're going to draw or not. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to send the power through a piston AND gate. And now, by default, this one should be off. So I'm going to go out one like this, not like this, and up one like this. And this is where I'm going to place my piston. And now, perfect. Now under this, I'm going to place a torch. And this is going to let me send power through at some point. But OK, there we go. That's the first one. And for the second piston AND gate, it's going to be a lot simpler. We're just going to do like this. And notice they're on the same level, which is exactly what we want. And again, when this thing is out, we want to have a torch right here, just for the piston. So now, this is set up the basis of it, and what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to send power to these torches to determine whether or not power is going to come out or not. And that's how the draw and erase commands that we actually have wires going to are going to work. And now, if we put at least tor power here, then that's just going to do that. So we will need to put a repeater here. And Again, these things will need their power inverted somewhat. Not exactly, but I'll, I'll go with that in a moment. Okay, so now, right now, we have all the end gates set up, and now. The very first thing we need to do now is we need to start sending pa power. Well, not set, uh, technically sending power yet, but start setting it up to send power to a memory, because eventually all this is going to end up doing is controlling a memory system for the, um, for the screen. <coughs> so, first thing I need to do, I'm going to send power like this, and now I'm going to invert the, it, because the erase command is going to take an inverted input in the memory. And now here I'm going to have that. I'm going to place block here for a good measure. Power and repeater. And it might, these repeaters might seem unnecessary, but if I don't have them here, they're going to start screwing up this piston, and that's the reason we have them there. And I, um, I think that's going to set up, for the most part, the, um, the system for getting the power to the memory. So, just one moment, I'm going to check. 
And I was pretty much right, it just needed that one block and I forgot about it. And this should basically be the system for getting both the draw command and the erase command to our memory system, which we're going to set up, uh, not just yet, but in a little bit. And um, I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't uh, forget anything, but I did, so good thing I checked. I will need to somehow... Okay, I know there is some way of sending power up this thing, but I I need to check because I forgot. And as it turns out, it was really simple. I just needed to move this out one more. So, I need to block this, and this probably is going to screw everything up now. And, yeah. So there we go. And, and I made that same mistake over here. And I, oh yeah, I did post that tour, so I'm just going to break that and redo it. So yeah, you need all these things on blocks, not just like that. And the reason for that is so that we can place torches on them and just pass power up like that. And, yeah, that's the reason. So now, if I do this, now I can break the, all this. Send power. And... That looks somehow slightly off. And I think I may see why. That. And yeah. And I see why that looks messed up now. That. There we go. Now this is making... It's all coming together. I'm sorry I made all those silly mistakes, but... We've got it now, so hooray. And, um. Th okay, that looks like we finally got everything. So now, we will need to set up this. That's basically everything we need to do, just. And that's the whole reason for that is just tile ability. We'll need that for tile ability. Um. Other than that, that looks like it's gonna be everything. And, um, mm, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go for it now. So, one, two, um, now I just need to stack seven and whoa okay that did not work out very well I'm trying to see if I somehow yeah okay that did screw up a couple of things like that and look at all the torches um this is position This is position two, and oh, there we go. This is position one. There we go, there we go. Now, I'm actually just gonna break these pistons because they're not gonna stack right. There we go. And now, just need to place all the pistons back. And there we go, we've got the initial part. We've got the draw and erase commands being sent to our memory system for the screen. And, uh, yeah. So... I know, I know, again, I didn't go into too deep of an explanation of how this works. Again, I want this to mostly be a, an explanation of the how this all works. Not how, I mean, excuse me, how to build this whole thing, and not really the how it works. So, yeah. Uh, that should be everything for this video. In the next video, we're going to set up the basis for the screen. And also the memory system for the screen. And yeah, so thank you. See you in the next video. And before I forget, I'd like to give credit to Peter C X Peter C one I believe it was, for the initial design for memory and this big thing back here. Because that was a big help. I... I did not come up with this, he came up with this, and I just sort of, 
I sort of modified it for use in a graphical processing unit. And, uh, yeah. So, just want to give out credit where credit's edits due. And thank you. See you in the next video.